Old Mutual released its uh, ninth edition of the Savings and Investment Monitor this morning. And really this year we have found a number of key findings, one of which is that, and I don't think it's surprising, is that um, South Africans overall are generally feeling even more financially stressed than they were last year. Um, a number of reasons for this, I think if we just think of the backdrop of the economy and what's happened over the last year, um, we've had petrol price increases, we've had cost of living increases, we've had unemployment going up, we've had GDP growth slowing down. And so all of these things together have influenced this, this financial stressful situation. Um, one of the, the, the key findings as well is that this is particularly prominent in this, this, this financial stress, is particularly prominent in the lower end of the market. And when we mean the lower end, it's those people earning lower incomes. So households earning less than, say, 10K per month um, is where, it's, where they're really feeling it, and they've really kind of had to make plans and cut down on expenses. Another key finding is, is that of the baby boomers, and the baby boomers are those people, those of you aged 19, well, born in 1964 and prior, but still working. So really the pre retirement uh, generation and and you know around the world globally the baby boomer generation is under stress at the moment particularly financial stress and it's no different here in South Africa so some of those findings um, were uh, you know the, the the percentage of baby boomers that feel that their children should take care of them when they are old and older has risen over the past few years and currently sits at around 46 percent so that means almost one in two baby boomers feel that their, their children should take care of them um, when they're older. Another, another key finding for baby boomers is that their levels of credit have gone up and their levels of savings have gone down. So in terms of banked cash savings, we see the lowest level in, in, since 2010 um, in terms of baby boomers having cash savings in the bank, which is, which is also concerning. Credit cards are up. Um, we have quite a significant rep proportion of baby boomers having personal loans um, and, and probably at that age where you know, these are people aged 50 to 64 still working personal loans is probably not what one what <laughs> what you want to have you know you want to start scaling down you want to start cutting down of course influencing them as well is that a lot of baby boomers and it's a global trend as well had children probably had children um, later on in life. So those children are still dependent on them even as they go into their 50s and even their 60s. Around 27% of baby boomers have children under the age of 12. So they still need to see these kids through primary school, high school, university, um, and it's a, a big fin a financial burden in terms of educating them. Compounding the effect in some baby boomer families is the fact that we have the boomerang generation. And this generation, exactly what a boomerang does, goes away and it comes back. So there are some um, children that leave home for various reasons. Um, either they go and get married and leave home, or they move out and establish their own flat or their own house, but their things don't work out so well financially, or maybe they get divorced, um, and they move back home with mom and dad, and that's kind of the boomerang generation. We have seen over the past three, three years that this generation is increasing in number, so um, more older children are moving back home. At the moment it sits around 17%, it used to be around 12-13%. So, so that's another thing to take care of. So not only do the boomers have to take care of their own um, financial situation, but now they've got added responsibilities with uh, you know, other family members coming back home. I think also it's very important that our youth today learn so sit up and take note of what's happening in the baby boomer generation. So it's not, it's not good enough for somebody to say, oh, well, I'm not in that generation, that's fine, it doesn't affect me. Because what is going to happen, not only are they going to have to take care of those people, because those are their parents, um, but they need to make provision for their own, um, their own retirement, their own savings, their own um, finances. And we know that the youth is a very, very 
um, today, ev ev everything for now, a very impulsive generation, um, instant gratification generation. So they really need to take note of what's happening uh, to the older generation. I think, though, that on, on, on the side of, well, that's all doom and gloom, what can we do or what can a baby boober do to rectify the situation? Absolutely, we all know that the earlier you start saving, the better. And not only do you have the, the, the benefit of the length of time, but you have the benefit of compound interest on, on money. Um, but also, you know, it's never too late. So just because you may be... 55 years old and you think that you know your financial situation is dire and you haven't made a good enough provision it's never too late to start um, and at least then try and put as much away as, as possible now in the years that you are working before that time comes um, when you do retire.